We got a thumbs up. Yep. I see a thumbs up. Happy St. Patrick's Day show. Woohoo! Not so tender podcast number 33. Yay! St. Patrick's Day show. Um, do you like St. Patrick's Day? As much as any other half holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, this feels like a real holiday to me. Does it? I don't know. It's. I mean, when I was younger, it was just an excuse to drink kegs and eggs, and yeah. then drink all day long. All day. All day long. I have a lot of clients that are like, "Go to go hard." They have plans. They are anxious. They really? are worked up. They're, They're ready. Ready to make some bad decisions. Apparently, it's like midnight to midnight. What? Midnight to midnight. Do you think the the Plan B pills? Go up. Oh yeah. How many are getting? They bought should Monday boost morning? the cost. <laughs> they should green ones. They should just hand out green ones. Green. Oh, and like a bowl. <laughs> yeah. No, apparently, and there's like, did you know or have you ever heard of them like designating a different day to drink that like in celebration of St. Patty's Day, but we're gonna do it this day. I, 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 no. I didn't know that was a no. Thing I grew up on a place called Irish Mountain in West Virginia, though. Oh yeah. For real. Did they celebrate the same Patrick's I mean, they drink every day, so what? I think they just... Did think they put food coloring in it? Nope. <laughs> nope. They just drink a lot. I think they've calmed down in their older age. Well, I had questions for my clients. I'm like, can you sleep? Why? Because I, there, I, there's not a, a day ever in my existence that I would be able to drink that consistently like all, all day, day and not sleep. No. no. She was like, yeah, you can sleep. I was like, then I guess I don't understand. She's they like, do you want to hard. not sleep? And I was like, no, I just don't understand the point. It's well, like midnight, midnight tonight. They start. Really? Drink as late as they can. And then I suppose fall asleep and then wake up and rally. Just go. And drink again. Wow. Eggs and eggs. Listening to you too. Just getting crazy. With or without you. With, I will be in bed. <laughs> How was your week? Busy. It was busy. I was tired this week. Time change. Everybody says it's a time change. Nah, I don't think it was the time change. No? No, I think I was just busy. I've been adjusting my schedule a little bit to try. I talked about that last episode. Try to get some Apparently days I'm off. Apparently I'm tired. <laughs> yawning over I here. I know. Nobody ever knows what time we film these. No. Today's actually reasonable. I had an early day. Had a nice client today. She's senior in high school. Yeah? Yeah, she was super sweet. I've known her parents for a long time. Mm. And she was a well put together. She starts Kent State this year. Mm -hmm. So pretty excited for her. Mm -hmm. She sounds like she's really excited for it. Yeah, I'm good. S super yeah. cool, right? Yeah. Is everybody getting ready for spring? Are they getting spring fever? Yeah, everybody's mood is starting to pick up Cause just of because of the weather and it's spring here. And yeah, it's springish. Yeah, it's kind of like enough. spring. Right. Yeah. So everybody's mood's starting to pick up. Some people are starting to fight again. They kind of like were fighting a lot around the holidays and then they kind of fell into that like depressive winter thing. Yeah. Now the weather's nice and they're like trying to set goals. It's very similar to like New Year's. Remember how I said like yeah. everybody's like super driven. It's kind of like that only now they're button heads because hmm. they have their taxes back. They're trying to decide what to purchase. she wants to like go on vacation. He, he wants, wants a new to more or like to put a roof on yeah. or Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. People are bickering quite a bit. People. It's funny. So a couple, a few of my couples, each individual is starting to get a little mouthy. With you or with everybody? Just in session. They're finding their voice and I think it's hilarious. Because they're like, I'm going to say fuck as yeah. much as I want. Well, no, they're just like, I don't think that's true. I don't, you need to be transparent when we're meeting with Kelly. And I'm like, get her. Kelly said we her. should have sex. Yeah. Kelly said. They've, they've used that. Kelly yeah. said we Kelly. should fuck. <laughs> right. No, they'll be Hashtag, like, I just feel Kelly like. Kelly said we should fuck. If we're... So if you want to fuck, call 234 200 Change what you said. If you want to fuck, call this number. <laughs> if you want permission, if you want advice. Yeah. Jeez. It says go ahead and do that. No, it is. It's just getting a little spicy sometimes that they're like. They're learning the lingo. She'll talk and then they'll be like. I don't think that was, I don't think that's factual. And I think like you're giving her the wrong impression. And I'm like, wow. why don't you tell me more about your experience? I like it. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I had a client. He's hasn't dated in two years and he's starting, he's a single dad. Mm. 
and he's trying to get back out there and he was talking and you know i have friends that are going through that and we were talking about it and he goes these girls on the dating site he goes dude it's crazy the way they present themselves i'm like well Listen to them when they talk. Listen to them. Like, when people are talking, they're telling you who they are. Yeah, don't ignore it. You know? And he goes, we are talking, I go, does every girl just put, you know, my kids come first. Single mom, my kids come oh, first. Yeah. And he goes, oh, my God. If I showed you, every woman says, every I put my kids in first. I go, could you imagine going to a job and going, hey, you're always going to be in the position you're in. You're never going to get a raise. You're never going to get a promotion. <laughs> You're just going to kind of stay here. Like, mm -hmm. okay, do you, I got to ask this before we start our yeah, topic. Go ahead. Because this is, I have to ask your I like opinion. This topic. Go for it. Do you think people do that because they want to just present that because they want to think they're a good parent and like, yes. Is that why they're doing yes. it? Yes. Okay. I was going to say, if they say my kids will always come first. Right. So, you know, what I, I told him, I believe them less. Yes. You know, what I told him, hmm. I said, I get it. My hot water tank comes first. And he goes, what? I go, I'm going to start telling everybody that my hot water tank comes no. first. And he goes, what do you mean? I go, well, if my hot water tank exploded in my fucking house before I had to tattoo you, I would call you and go, hey, dude, that's fair. I can't fucking make it or I'm going to have to make it <laughs> later. Or do you want to give me a hand cleaning this the fuck up? No one would ever lead with that, right? No. Then why in the fuck? Yeah, no, I, if I, you're on a dating site. I agree. It's weird. Talk about dating. Talk about, like, but here's what's ready. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this. I'm always going to put my mom before you. You think any woman would be okay with that? No. Okay. Ever. So Never. explain to me. Explain to me how this logic works. Is this girl logic only or is this guy logic too? Um, or is it just bad logic? No, I feel like, I, I feel like there is logic behind it because there are people who in reality expect the opposite. So if we have... If we have a date coming up on Friday, yeah. it's Thursday, and my kids are sick, I have to cancel because my kids are sick. We would cancel if we were married. I know. I know. But some people really do get upset about that. Yeah. My babysitter canceled. That's a, maybe a better one. My babysitter canceled, and now we can't. Yeah. And they're like, well, you don't have another babysitter? Like, there's <laughs> not, like, you know. I just hand my kids out to people. All the time. All the time. So is that a thing, just like, like projecting that out so that's what you want to think you are? Like, is a bragging thing? I think that it's... Hmm, I think that it's something that you say to try to set firm boundaries. If like I was being future. on the positive side. Like, is it the like, same I'm thing? trying to set a firm boundary now because I don't want to get shit okay. when you want to come over at 2 o'clock in the morning and my kids are here. That's not happening. To me, it's the same thing as when a guy will look at a girl and be like, just let you know I'm a fucking mess. I'm going to fucking, I'll disappoint. You know when they start that shit? You'd be better off without me. <clears throat> right. I'm going to fuck up. I'm this, not perfect. Yeah. It's like that. I'm not perfect. So a woman or a man <laughs> could justify that my kids come first. And people are like, well, dude, your kids should always come first. I'm sure, like, well, that's I not true. Know. It's not true. It's not true. Anybody whose needs are in that room are needed, then you kind of tend to them. I don't care who it's it is, whether it's your grandmother or your aunt or game. your dog. I'm or, trying to figure it right. Yeah. Okay. I never go, we, my fucking dogs come first. No shit. Well, I got to no, go home and let my dog no, out. No, if my daughter skinned her knee and my dog is choking. Yeah, fuck the knee. I, you'll be fine. I mean, no, What's, not to, is he not to be an asshole. Right, You're no, always going to pick I, your dog. Well, my dog's perfect. I know, my too. He's, oh, I got my dog fixed on Monday. <gasps> yeah. He's How is he? Great. Of course he's great. Uh, I mean, he's got to have that like uh, inflatable thing around his neck. What, you bought him a donut? Well, yeah, instead of the, the cone. Yeah. They're too big for his little 17.6 pounds that's it i still have i need to see recent pictures no my dog is the cutest thing in the world yeah I love my daughter it. could break her finger and i'd be like one second yeah let me feed them i get it <laughs> so you should always lead with my dogs come first my dogs come first I like, kids are a firm second yeah it's like when you hear somebody go i like animals more than people i just walk out of the room they look at me like what are you doing i'm like i no. I don't know how to have a conversation. I'm going to go no. grab my dog. Who hurt you? <laughs> you must hang out with the worst people in the world. Like, I love my dog, but I love you guys. You know what I sure. mean? Like, get the, we can have all of it. No, he's not here. He's at home, I would imagine. Yeah, but when that guy was talking about it, he's like, you know, well, you should put your kids first. I go, what does that even mean? And he couldn't explain it. I go, stop saying things you can't explain. It's true. Stop. It's true. We were just talking about that. I hate that stuff. 
Ugh. Why do you even say that? It doesn't matter. Say that when it matters. So if you have to cancel because your babysitter canceled and the dude gets all upset about it, right. then you might have to say, like, I don't have another options. I have to put my kids first. I cannot leave them by themselves. So here's what's funny. Do they lead with, hey, I'm probably not going to fuck you because you left your socks in the fucking bathroom? Because you know what I mean? Like, if you don't do something right, like, they don't lead with that. Sure. No, I think all of that is bullshit. I've heard so many different things. My job comes first. My job is very important to me. My daughter freaked my, out her friends by saying when they're like, my kids comes first. And you know what I'm saying? She goes, no, I come first, then my husband, and then my children. It's fair. No, if they're needing something, yeah, right. that doesn't, yeah. it's the same it thing. It ebbs and flows. Yes, but as a... Priority wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to take care of myself. Yeah. Then my husband is good. my person. Yeah, he, he has to be good. He takes care of all this. He, right, yeah. You He's know. my partner. Yeah, and whatever so your situation. Have to be good. You know. I don't know. All right, well, leading up to this, before mm -hmm. you get to that point, you got to start here. Da, 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 da. So, uh, the luck of the Irish. <laughs> the fuck of the Irish. The fuck of the Irish. Yeah. Well, we went from Mormons to Irish. Soaking <laughs> to poking. Soaking to poking. Pot of gold. That's what we're going to talk Honey about Honey dip. Yeah. <laughs> Honey pot. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pot of gold. Kelly, yeah. what's our subject today? <laughs> How to get lucky for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, shit. Woohoo! I did play the lottery. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. I wish there was a rainbow. Have you ever tried to follow a rainbow? Ever? No, I have two Even gay with kids. Your girls, so I'm good. <laughs> you know, the pot of gold's at your house. The look, rainbow just ends there. Look at my gnome here. <laughs> Represent. No. Nope. How to get lucky for St. Patrick's Day is the topic of the hour. We had talked about it. I have a bunch of single clients right now that yeah. are going through hell. All the girls are like, do guys have this? All the guys have this. Guys are experiencing just as crazy shit yeah. as what the girls are. But this is how to get lucky. So how to make an intimate connection and potentially, potentially get lucky for St. Patrick's some sex. Day. Yeah, get some sex. Yeah. It improves your mood. Kelly does say, Counselor Kelly does often say, just have sex. That's the gold. Have sex. Yeah, Kelly said, time to fuck. I do. Um, Our therapist said. I know. Kelly said we should have sex. It comes up a lot. Kelly said we should have sex. We should try. We should try to have sex. Just do it. But I always buffer with, if you both want to. <laughs> this is not like... Try to get to a Fake place where you, you both it. want to have sex. And I that's a, what we're talking about. Listen, I had a lady talking about that. And she's like, I, you know, just <sighs> think about having sex with her dude. You know what I mean? And I, and it wasn't graphic because we're not having that conversation. I go, yeah. so let me get this right. You're going to break up with your dude. And then you're going to fuck every other guy on Tinder that's going to be horrible at it. Yes. He's not going to know your body the no. way your dude knows your body. And you're going to just end up back at square one. Yes. He might be the only person that gives a shit if you get off. Yeah. Yeah. He probably feels like he has something to prove. Well, at or this he, point, or he, yeah. Or you're a little nicer to him after he does it. Yeah. He's like, this could benefit us both. Yeah. Tell me. Please. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah. No, all those other guys. Good luck. You're going to go through some of these horrible things that are on. <laughs> Good luck. This is the pro list. There's a con list. There's a lot of things that can happen when you have sex with somebody for the first time. Like what? <laughs> Lots of negative things. Yeah. <laughs> Marriage. Babies. Marriage. <laughs> that happens when you have sex for the first time? Usually it starts there. <laughs> Not for most people I know. <laughs> The ratio is heavily skewed the opposite direction. Well, know your crowd. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Number one. All right. So how to get lucky. Number one, it says talk to yourself and then talk to your partner. Talk to yourself. Talk like, to yourself. Like looking in the mirror yes. like, I'm going to fuck and tonight. Shadow box in the mirror. <laughs> you see with your like, dick. It's so excited. <laughs> it's so excited. Boy. Look at it from the side. <laughs> look at it from the back. Look at it from everywhere. Make sure you're looking Stretch. good. <laughs> Stretch, talk yourself. Do some stretches, some squats. We're talking about communication. Yeah. Know your boundaries, know your expectations. Do you think you should know why you want to have sex with that yes, person? Yes, absolutely. That, people don't talk about that. No. Like, why do you want to have sex with them? Right. Because it's been a while. You haven't had sex in a while, but why this person? A, a lot comes with it. Yeah. When you attach yourself to someone, you can't just 
like block them. You're still attached to them. They will always have access to you in some form or the other. So when they say, when we say talk to yourself, realize like, do you really know this person? Listen, if you want to just go bang it out and all that. There's websites for that. Yeah. That's not There's messaging them good morning. Right, yeah, right. That's none of that. That's not taking, you don't have to take those people out to dinner. No. And those people are, are some of my friends and family. Like, I mean, you have to be honest about where you're at. It's like the difference between a restaurant where you have to make reservations or you yeah. just walk in. Yeah, sure. That's They're fair. very different. That's fair. You know, you got to get dressed up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Know what you expect. Know what you want. Would Identify prefer. what your boundaries are. Would prefer. Yeah. Well, or what's a, you need to know what you prefer and what's a hard yes and a hard no. If you have yeah. hard no's, you need to know those too. I hope you know yeah. what your hard no's are. Some people think they know what their hard no's are until you're in that moment. Or presented with something it, you didn't know yeah, existed. Yeah, right. And yeah. now you're like if you're on in, spot. If you're out somewhere and you're like, hey, I only have sex in a closet. I had a client who went on a first date. Well, first hookup. Yeah. And he wanted to do anal. Her or him? Her. Giving or getting. He Don't ever not her. ask that question, ladies and gentlemen. No, but she showed up and he that's what he tried. Like he, he shot his shot. It, he yeah. To... Yeah. No discussion. And she was like, what is happening right now? And he I was mean, like, I mean, it's pretty... this is what I do. This is what I do. <laughs> this is it. This is what I do. That's and I... she was mortified. She's like, this is not what I do. How'd that work out? She laughed. She didn't do it. No, because he didn't want to do anything else. Quitter. <laughs> He didn't want to do anything else. She didn't want to do his game plan. It's like he showed her the agenda and she was like, I'm not comfortable with anything on that list. How do you go right to butt stuff? How do you not have that conversation when you invite somebody over? He did. Fair enough. After he tried to put it in. Did he, would he just miss? (laughs) No. For you guys that don't know, they're very close to each other and it's dark. Pretty, pretty close proximity. No, he just shot his shot. Literally. And she was like, what are you doing? That's the wrong one. And he was like, no, it's not. <laughs> and she was like, yes, it is. And he didn't go for a runner up. Like, no, <laughs> he's like, no, he died on this hill. is it. This is what I do. And she was like, I don't do that. Not with a, on a booty call for the first meet. No, no. But why do they call it booty call then? <laughs> I guess. Why? I like Kelly, this is what Kelly look. This is good comedy right here. I got her. Oh, so good. Anyway, back to number one. So if you're getting a booty call, sweat. make it specific. Yes. What are you looking for? What do you want? Does this mean you're automatically in a relation? Are you in a relationship? Are you not? Oh. Is that what this means? Talk. Talk. Yeah. Talk. Is this a hookup? Where where are we? Where do you see this going? I wouldn't go that hard. You might. Kind of. If that's where you're at, if you, if your opinion is this solidifies, like moves things forward. Yeah. Then you have to talk about that. Yeah. Not everybody has that. No. Some people are like, no, we were talking the same today that we were yesterday. But regardless, <laughs> right? regardless of care. what happens tonight. I don't tonight, care of what you had inside me. Nothing's changed. Nothing's bro. changed. You are You're still not. not my, co- you are still not. No coming Netflix to Thanksgiving. password. <laughs> no network's password. You are still not getting a key. You are still not meeting my mama. I'm going to family dinner Sunday without you. I'm not even being friends with you on social media. I'm not accepting that friend request. You are still gonna sit in my inbox. Cut, literally. <laughs> literally. Literally. I'm not gonna decline you. But you're you've been in my box. Me. You've been in my box. <laughs> All right. So that's number one. Figure out what you want and why. Number two, practice being intimate without being sexual. With the person. <laughs> with Yes, with your partner. This is where you've moved to the next step, not alone. Okay. Yes. I mean, you can if practice you, alone you if you should, want. You should. I feel like exploring your own body is like step A. There's like step A and then step one. I now guess it depends on, on how two. flexible you are. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Twice. That's two, ladies and gentlemen. Is, is it the blushing? Is that what gets you? Just is that the win? It. Just excuse the red light behind you. <laughs> so say that again. Practice being intimate without being sexual. It's just some dry humping. No, I have examples. Would you like me to tell them? Fuck to you? yes, I do. Because I'm right the dry humping. No. <laughs> Build 
physical contact and physical comfort in other ways. Yes. So try activities where you're in close proximity. Like, I don't know. You have a motorcycle. Having yeah. her ride on the bike of your back of your motorcycle yeah. where you are close and touching and it's not sexual. Yeah. Things like that. That's good. What else? Bowling. <laughs> bowling? Group bowling. Oh, I was like, what Couples else? Couples bowling. Yeah, sure. Were Hot you, putt. Putt putt. Where you next to each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else would be next to each other? Bumper cars. <laughs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> Rock climbing. You have to be close to each other. Kind of. What? Well, I guess. I don't know. S- touch each other in the car. You know, it doesn't have to be like this huge big activity. Yeah, it's important to build the that movies. Trust. Watch a movie and like Do the lean trick. on each other. What is the what's the popcorn trick? Where you put a hole in the bottom of the popcorn thing, and she's reaching for the popcorn. Uh, what and then what? You're where you pee. Yeah, is in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Three, ladies and gentlemen. I was thinking that popcorn would fall out of the bottom, and then she would have to reach in between your legs to grab the popcorn. Not really. You're no. kind of skipping that step. <laughs> yeah, that's Mike awful. told me about it. Mike used to work at a theater. And that's what he did? No, he was the projectionist. He would just cut a big hole. Mike was a projectionist and... at an adult theater. Oh, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah, he was getting his union because it would be in the union because it's a union job. They put you there the first. The show projector? Yeah, Is they that... put you there first. Yeah, it's a union because you're a film guy. That's where you start. So that's where you have to start. Could you imagine like this I... nice lady wanting to be a like... Listen, I would love that sh- that job. Oh, my God. I would love that job. Really? Yes. <laughs> I would laugh so hard. Mm-hmm. I would have to make sure my booth was soundproof. Because the room I was just... locked. I bet. Yeah, the room is locked. People probably beat on it. Rewind it. Don't say it like Rewind. that. Rewind. They, they definitely beat on it. Yes. Rewind that. I need that one more time. Yeah. I blinked. Oof. I was grabbing a towel and I missed it. Well, we're going to be here a while. <laughs> All right. So practice being close to physically close to each other. So it's yeah. those activities that promote physical closeness. Cuddle. Play. Flirt. Back rub. Hold hands. Kiss. Back massages. Rub. Yeah. Warm up to it. See what it's like. To, to touch them, to be around them in the same physical space. You ever have somebody touch you and you're just immediately like weirded out? All the time. Where are you hanging out? <laughs> all the, all the time. All the time. Who's Pete, touching I you? Am, I will fucking murder you. I get hugged way more than I would like to. Yeah, I know that. I feel that. I just, I'm not. I'm, I'm not talking about that aspect. Yeah. I'm talking about somebody you're like thinking you might be into. Mm. No, you're not because I'm kind of mm. the same way. If I know I like somebody, I kind of dislike them. Yeah, I either will allow you to touch me or like I'm not getting close enough for you to touch me. First dates are usually like you're going to sit over there and I'm going to sit over here. Close enough, but on opposite sides. I'm not sitting on the same booth side with you yeah. on a first date. Don't touch no. me. No, not on a first date. I am that person with my husband. We're the ones that make everybody sick because we sit on the same side. Are you same table. siders? We're same siders. That's cute. Thanks. I do that to Mike all the time, just to make him feel comfortable. He's like, you know, there's other seats. I go, Mm-mm. not for me. Mm-mm, Mike. <laughs> not you throw for me us. in the closet. <laughs> so yes, before sex, there are lots of things that you can do to kind of build up towards being more comfortable touching. Being yeah, make it out. Time. Yeah, make out. Make out a little dry humping. There you go. There you go. This is where the dry humping could come in. Yeah, that's important. It's usually a pretty quick slide. <laughs> To sex not for me in my experience there ain't much with past me? That. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> no no i i really i have some like i like to really get to know somebody believe it or not like that's mm. really important to me because like dude it just i get know, it you it like to feel their horribly. rhythm do you have rhythm or no it ends horribly <laughs> if it does it you know well we're gonna talk that's further down the list guys like how to not make it awkward or how to make it unawkward how yeah. to avoid that take to take the off, pressure right? off well or put the mask on. Or put the mask on. We're here for everybody. Maybe do the soft handcuffs, not the police issue. Yeah, don't get too crazy. Right. Make sure you know where the key is. So practice touching each other. Yes. Thumb wrestle. Thumb wrestle. That's a good one. That is a good one. It's a good one. See if they cheat. Mm-hmm. Put your leg up against their leg. Start yeah. small. Like. Yeah, knees. Touch, touch knees. Your knees. Put your arm on his arm. Like, hold yeah. hands. Not straight to the butt stuff. No, not straight to the... Guys, come on. Girls, too. I, 
I'm sure. Also, straight for the butt stop. They're freaky. They're dirty little birds. Dirty birds. Yeah. Oh, no. Ladies. Ladies. Have some class. <laughs> Show some cooth. <laughs> yes. Show if some If you don't know what that cooth. word is, you need to You don't look have it up. any cooth if you, if you don't know what it is. <laughs> All right. All right, number three, expect the unexpected. This is probably one of my favorite ones Oof. on this list. Yeah, because you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. So it talks about, I put in a blurb about like protection and hygiene. These are what I come that come to mind. Expect the unexpected. Be clean, people. Stay you know, clean. Carry a knife. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is unexpected. They Jay talk just about- said like anal on a first date. That's unexpected. <laughs> Do things that make yourself feel good. Shower. If if you know and are anticipating that you are creeping up to some sort of intimate connection, wash yourself. Wear deodorant. Clean Brush your, your teeth. Clean your room. Clean out your refrigerator. Yes. Clean out the underneath sides of your couch cushions. Everything. Take your cushions off and look. Sweep. Sweep. Light a candle. All right. Bake like, some cinnamon buns. Keep your body, whatever this means for you, keep your body ready for sex. You have to be. You don't know. You're not a hobo. No. Hobos have sex, and I just imagine it's a little funky. It's probably pretty equal playing Might be field, loving. though. Might be loving. I bet it's intimate. Cancels it out. Intimate funky and emotional. And plus funky. Hot, top priority, warmth. Yeah. Friction. So taking care of yourself or getting yourself ready, but you also feel better. It's like putting on a suit. Yes, well, Put that was the other thing. Suit. Like, you know, wear things that make you feel good. Wear your cute underwear. Wear your favorite T-shirt. I don't know what do you guys wear to feel sexy. Dude, I have a condom on right now. <laughs> <laughs> ready? Is it four? Ready? Jesus. Yes. I'm gonna roll. <laughs> Tell me you're not Irish. Let's fucking oh, go. Oh God. Right. Oh my God. Lotion, perfume, whatever makes you feel sexy. Yeah. Have that and explore that. Explore that on yourself. Dudes too. Get yourself Build your ready. confidence. Yes. And then protection. If you know that you're probably going to have sex soon, have protection all of the time. Keep it around. Yeah. Don't too many people. This goes back to like number one of like what your expectations are. I'm going to wear protection. I'm going to use protection. I'm, and then you don't have it. And now you're faced with a dilemma. Do you think more people are more open to that now than when we were younger? What do you mean? more open to talking about it's not so taboo yeah oh yeah they're better with it now oh my god buying a condom when you were like a kid yeah when i was growing up mortifying yeah mortifying no there's like a whole aisle for that at walmart like i mean there's a lot of variety buy whatever amazon girls you should have it amazon you should have protection you don't have to deal with anybody that's fair amazon well i'd have to deal with my mom because they use her prime that'd That'd be be funny oh i dude (laughs) Let me just get on your account for a second. She'd be like, what? Oh, my God. She would think it was funny, but she'd oh, be like, Kelly so Elaine. She'd be like, it wasn't for me. It was for Thomas. Who's Thomas? Right. Mind your business, Mind woman. your business, woman. <laughs> Stay in your lane, Mom. It's not Mother's Day yet. You're no, not right. talk. Just mind your business. I don't want to ruin the surprise. So protection. A lot of people, you know, some people have an easy way of talking about that. And some people yeah. don't. Some people don't care. Well, and that goes back to number one. Like, talk about it ahead of time. Yeah. Are you on birth control? Are we using a condom? Are we using a diaphragm? Like on a car? Mm. These people don't know what a diaphragm is. Come on. Google it. I'm not giving a tutorial. (laughs) Do you think because girls started getting things implanted in their arms and things that they, it like got a little wild for a second? Yes. It's kind of crazy. I hear a lot of girls talking about young guys. They're like, they always say, I just want to put a baby in you. I was like, see, that's where it's changed from my generation of men to this generation. So this is what I think happened. Young women act like my generation of men and young men act like your generation of women. are like, I just want a baby from him. Remember how baby crazy all the girls your age were? We had a baby class. Right. Like a, a classes for teenage girls with babies. Yeah. Right. But what I'm saying is they were just excited to get a they baby. They wanted to be a mom so, so bad. So the boys that were raised by those women, mm-hmm. they think that's normal. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Pull out, boys. No doubt. No, I have young teenage boys. I'm like, you cannot just pull and pray. Not appropriate. Well, if you're a good Catholic, no. you might be able to pull No. Out. My boys are cute. They're going to get roped in. Some girl. 
That's my worst Maybe nightmare. Maybe that's why that guy just wanted to do butt stuff. Well, that's what I told her. I did tell my client. I was like, it's a like typical way to like make ensure lack of pregnancy. And she's like, I don't care. I brought condoms. Like, <laughs> be, be the normal. Problem? Then what's the problem? Mm-mm. Prude. Mm-mm. Bring protection, men and women. Dude, I got knives in every pocket. <laughs> you want to hear a funny story? And one in the chamber, apparently. <laughs> I was uh, <laughs> I was hanging out with a lady when I was young. Mm-hmm. In the southern part of the world, and uh, I didn't know that we were going to be doing those sort of things. It just kind of escalated into that. And I asked her, I said, "Do you have any protection?" She goes, "I got a gun under the bed." And I was like, "Please don't shoot off my deck." N- not what I was. <laughs> fucking... Jesus, it was funny. She was funny. It was a I joke, it. but I it was funny. It but that's not the kind of protection we're talking about. It is not. Offer a variety and keep it around. Always. What do you mean offer a variety? Different kinds? Yeah. Like what if she's got latex allergies? What sure. if you have latex right. allergies? Yeah. Size matters. Whoa. S- they make different ones for different sizes. You mean if you have a really small penis? Yeah. You can't show up with magnums only and then he gets there and he's like, Whoop. they just like fall off on the ground. That's Is embarrassing. That a thing? Yes. I've never slept yes. with dudes. Yes. I'm not going to start either. I'm just, you know. Yes. Well. I'm going to say, if you're working with that, you should probably bring your own fucking You should tools. probably, yes. <laughs> right? He should. But if things get elevated, if you, you both should have. <laughs> you know, those little ones? <sighs> Just have those. Could you imagine what it, but listen. As prepared as you're trying to be, as mm-hmm. like, say you're a well-adjusted woman and you're like, proper and you have this whole assortment of different size condoms. <laughs> Do you imagine how fucking mind fuckery that would be for a man? He'd be like this. What the fuck is going on here? You have a whole fucking so aisle many, in your bathroom with this shit? So many girls in my professional life or my personal life are like, I'm afraid I'm going to look like a hoe. Yeah, because you're being a hoe. And I, I, no. Then talk about it ahead of time. If not, you have to say, like, they're in the bathroom under the cabinet. And then he'll pull it out and you'll see your little tampon and pad assortment basket and your sex basket. And he'll do that with that what he wants. Listen, you should <laughs> go on Amazon and get an assortment pack, pack and be like this. Yeah. Listen, I didn't, I didn't know what know. was going on. I didn't know. I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. So I just got a got a kit. <laughs> What is this? So, fucking sewing golden kit, corral? Good sewing kit. <laughs> Sex kit. Oh my God. Menstrual kit. Gauze bandages. They're all in little boxes underneath there. Smelling and, salts. And she's just right. And she's like, you do with that. I'm going to put together a I'll kit. I'll be out here. Me too. Can we do that? We'll raffle it off. With fucked up shit in it. <laughs> Smelling salts. In case they pass out. I like it. Ammonia or whatever that is. That they- yeah. Uh-huh. Iodine. Mm-hmm. I like Universal it. keys. Just in case. Like like at the airport where they get into your package? Yeah. Mm, neat. For like handcuffs. It. Next. Okay. Um, keep it clean and simple. So this is mainly just like be be sober. Mm. I w- when I was doing my research, a lot of things was like your first time with your new partner. Do you want me you to be honest? Be s- in my what? life, I've had situations where I I was you know when I was younger I was out with somebody that we were drinking pretty hard and it was getting pretty elevated as yeah. far as physical contact and I was like hey no nah, I need you to be sober for this yeah not today I love. need you to remember all of this disappointment yeah. you know what I mean I don't want you to think that this was better I don't want than you to call you your girls tomorrow and be like this is the best sex I ever had yeah. and then round two you're like what the fuck exactly Let's disappointment he wants to be consistent hundred percent. No. Beast. And I need you to sign a consent form. Listen. NDA. That's what I'm going to, I'm going to document, make, draw one up for my boys. Yes. So I'm going to wear these things and worst case scenario, you're going to do these things and you're not allowed to discuss So being it. sober, you can have a little bit of a light, a light buzz. Be, I said be sober, but then I put like <coughs> enough to be present. If Enough you're blacking be... out or you don't... Listen, if you can't drive home, you shouldn't be fucking someone. That's fair. Is that easy enough? That's fair. That's I think fair. that's fine. If you can pass a, best, a breathalyzer? Well, let's uh, drive home. Let's just say drive home. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe Enough to Enough to be present. 
if you wouldn't do enough it in front of your know. grandma, you're not sober enough to be around your grandma. That's fair. My grandma's she, dead. So that's, I could be blackout meant, drunk. If you wouldn't have that kind of sex know. in front of your grandma. If you can't fuck in front of your grandma. <laughs> what are you even doing? Are you even fucking? Are you even fucking? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so be present or be sober enough to be present. Disconnect from the rest of the world. Turn off your phones. Ooh, listen. Turn it off. Listen. Don't put it on that tripod. Well, I mean, that's Turn different. If it you're using off. your phone, that's different because you want to document it. Do you think you should document the first time you had no. sex? No. Go over the fin- footage. No. Like, Can you imagine if she turned on or she showed up and he tried to put it in her butt while the cell phone was propped up in the yeah. corner? Bloopers. No. Blooper film. Blooper film. No. No phones. So Turn look, it off. And I think that's a huge thing in general in life. Like when you're like, I learned that valuable lesson in the last year. Like when you're with your person, man, turn that fucking TV off sometimes. Yes. Turn that fucking phone off. You want to play YouTube on the TV? <coughs> Even then. Like a song, like a song Even or then. something. Even then. Sit in your fucking silence. Listen to her noises. Make it weird. Make it. Listen to that weird breathing. <laughs> No, you can play some music. What kind of music do you play? For what? Is baby making music? Like Pony by Genuine? <laughs> Obviously. Not like but the Beach body. Boys. Beach Boys. That puts that's, me in the... Really? No. That's such a weird, intimate question to ask on the air. Look, now I'm blushing what's for the real. Song? What's the jam? What do you, what's your baby making music? No, I don't make babies Kelly. anymore. <laughs> if you know you got your good underwear on... <laughs> What music do we, you got your Cinnabons I, in Honest the oven. to God, if I were to look something up, I have and would just type in like sex music no. on YouTube. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Boys, look up I sex music and see through, the first five songs, please. Scroll through a playlist, turn on something. Sex music. Sex music. Huh. Sex making music. Play some Maxwell, ladies and gentlemen. The weekend comes up a lot. The weekend, some sex music that for comes sure. up on every playlist. It's like Oof. number one or two is the weekend. Like, yeah, the weekend's got it. Maxwell's got it. Um, I don't like when when I have clicked on sex lists, like sex playlists, when they like have like the fire crackling in the background. Like no, I don't, don't like, like that. that. And it's like all but classical it's like you're a grandma's music. Again. I'm like. I don't want to have sex on a bearskin rug on the carpet in front of this with like no? the romantic. That's not my thing. Since well, you asked, thanks. What about you? Uh, I don't know if I have any sex music. I like it real awkward and quiet. It's <laughs> part of your tism. Probably. I don't like. I want to stare into your eyeballs. I want you to be present. I want That's you to big stare to at me. I want to be present. I want to hear all of the noises. Yeah, I don't know. No phones, everybody. Unless you're filming it. <laughs> Unless you're filming it. Jesus Christ. Ask for permission. Why? I'm joking. <sighs> I said I already signed a consent form, That's Kelly. True. Jeez. I own rights to this forever. <laughs> <laughs> what number are we on? Five? I don't even know how many there are. There are eight. All right, number five. You're still thinking about that jam? You're still thinking I about can't, the weekend? I can't. I'm sweating. <laughs> it's a good show today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jesus Christ. These aren't gnomes. These are butt plugs. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just saying. If you want to buy some of these gnome uh, butt plugs, it's 234 200 5949. You know, when you asked me to make a list and this is what we decided, I was so certain that this topic would make you uncomfortable i was like he'll just make jokes the whole time i got a new jacket (laughs) i got a new shirt it was a gift isn't it a good gift i like it couldn't have found one better for me i love it it's perfect is it gray or is it green yes yeah i have a fine line between gray and green just like my motorcycle okay all right number five remember that you're wanted yeah they want to do this. That's why they're here. So knowing that you're wanted, a lot of people struggle with that in general in relationships. Like I told a guy, he's like, I just don't know if the girl likes it. I go, does she answer you back? Does she text you? And he goes, yeah, I go, then she likes you. And this is number five. If, you've, if you're if you doing all of these other things, yeah, they're interested. Yeah, but here's the other thing you have to remember too. If somebody changes their mind midway or they decide like, hey, this is, this is making me, I'm just feeling, can we just slow down? Yes. You kind of got to, 
follow their rhythm. Whoever yeah. is setting the pace and it can flip. Yeah. You Most of the websites people. that I looked at was like, she should lead and then he should follow. And then she like, but it's different. That's why I didn't even put it. I was like, it, there's Our, so many variables that matter. Yeah. I've never dated a boy. I've never, you know, I don't have any experience with that. Yeah. I mean, are guys real grabby and real? And I'm sure you're going to say some of them. And not During some of sex them. specifically no, 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 or no, like to, in life? To, to, to initiate sex. In your lifetime, I'm not trying to get too much in your business. But we're always in our business. My hubby? All the time. No, no, no. Before, <laughs> what I'm saying is when you were dating before sure. you were married mm -hmm. and you would date someone, mm -hmm. how aggressive would the guy be? Would he let you know that he wanted to have sex with you? Yes. How would he do that if you don't mind me asking this? I'm not trying to be too. No, I mean, we would. I'm trying to protect the innocent. There's usually, I think a lot of men that I've dated have kind of used humor to lighten the mood. Like if I was a trip and fall and be in your mouth, like, is that okay? <laughs> like that? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> it's like, it, imagine like those like rom-com things, right? Where she's eating the hot dog and he makes like a funny joke, right? Like. Little, yeah. little things like that, that they lead. They let me know that sex is on their mind. Okay. Okay. If I don't shut it down and shame them for that joke, <laughs> at least there are people who would. Yeah. Then like, that's inappropriate. Yeah. Don't, knock it off. Right. I don't think that's funny. I'm a lady. Treat I'm just me here for respect. lunch. It's just a hot dog. Not you dick. sicko. Sicko. What's wrong with you? Who Would you say that I'll to you? i pray for you. You talk to your grandma with that? Yeah, you you kiss, kiss your grandma. Like, maybe. This is how she thought. Though. Maybe. But then when you do, when you hold hands and you kiss and you make out and if it, it starts okay, to Okay, let me ask ways. this question because mm -hmm. we're going to go even harder. You know who I wish was here today? Mindy. God. She'd be phenomenal. Mindy. Jeez. <laughs> Mindy. We should FaceTime her. So listen. I texted her on my way here. She didn't answer. Damn her. We need you, Mindy. Um, who makes the first move in the southern region with a hand? I know that's a very graphic question. I tried to put it as nice as I could. Generally speaking, I don't think that's a thing. Okay, with you, is it usually <laughs> a, you're like, it's me, Thomas. Poor I'm fuck's always sake. picking up the sausages. No, I'm saying in your life or even talking to girls, you know, like your sure. friends. I'm not, I'm sure. not, try, I'm trying to do this as generally because speaking. I think, so I, hold okay. on. I, this is why I'm asking this question. I think there's a lot of men who that don't are know. so afraid to fucking make a girl feel, listen, me, I am Terrifying. so and afraid to make a girl uncomfortable because I grew up with all my friends being girls telling me how uncomfortable that dudes, they like, Billy was all over me. He's like an octopus and it made me so uncomfortable. And I saw the fear. And then she would share her story. Then she would share her story. And I was like this. I never want to make a girl feel like that. And I would literally, as a young man, have girls like, do you even like me? I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. You haven't tried to do. I was like, I didn't fucking know we were at that. You know, yeah. <clears throat> this is why I'm asking this. Generally speaking. So I will pull mo more from the women in my life. Right. It is usually the progression is usually his hand on her top over the clothes. And her hand down on his. Because that's the green light. Yes. You know my Over old joke? Over top of the clothes. Here's my old joke. You have to touch it twice before I have a green light. There you go. Because the first time might be an accident. That's true. Yeah. I like, that's a good rule. That's the Thomas rule. That's a good rule. Call you have to touch two, it twice. 234 to hear any other rules you want to hear. Thomas, that is a good rule. Is that a good one? Yeah. You have to touch it twice before I'm going to move forward with anything. Yeah. Then it's on. Good rule. Then it's on. Yep. No tap backs. <laughs> no takesies backsies. <laughs> so is that it? Mm -hmm. Because I'm telling you, she girls just assume that guys want to fuck anything moving. And there are a lot of guys like that. Actually, I don't think there's a lot of guys like that. I think there used to be a lot of guys like that because that That's was fair. acceptable. That's fair. But I'm telling you right now, the men that I hang out with, they're reasonable men who like want to reasonably respect a woman. You know what I mean? Like not make her feel uncomfortable. Right. And dude, we're still men. But we all have daughters. We all have mamas we yeah. love. Like, granted, once that green light's on, I don't look at you in that right. same, you know, I mean, that's right. a very specific moment of that. Right. But to get to there, you guys got to, it's like. I think that there are still a decent amount of assumptions. If, if things are going in that way, 
most women, I'm going to be a little arrogant. Most women are pretty sure they could have sex if they want to. Well, as they should. Right. Honey Boo Boo's mom's getting it. We can all, we, we here today could assume that most women, if they want, if they're initiating, they could have sex. Yeah. They're also Not always. assume most, most women. Yeah. If you are in some sort of, if we're having this conversation. Yeah. Because we're interested and we're seeing each other in any capacity, regardless of the verbiage. Probably. Yeah. Pretty strong chances. There's also a pretty strong chance that he wants to or that he would yeah. if you initiated. So all of the pressure, <laughs> number three or number, what is a six? Five. Number six. That was five. Oh. One, two. I didn't number them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is slow down and don't be afraid to speak up. Oh, that's yeah. We are all on the same page. If you guys are doing these things pretty close to in order, yeah, you've already had the conversation. You've already had the conversation the about dirty talk, the protection, health, hygiene, what you're into, what you're not. Except for your friend. Except for my friend. She found out she was not into that. My, cl he my was. client. That yeah. was my client. So keep your boundaries in mind. <laughs> I put share your wins. Because most websites that I was looking for, like, inspiration, it was like, it's okay to tell them what you like. You don't have to say, a lot of them were like, tell them how to pleasure you or what has worked oh, in the fuck, past. fuck off. That's what any guy wants to hear. Look, I'm a pretty, <laughs> like, I'm not a super self-conscious human. I'm pretty, you know, sure. I'm pretty comfortable in my own fucking skin. So if she was like, S do this, you would not like that? Listen, not off the like if we're in the middle of it and listen, just move somebody's hand a certain way there you go. or use your body language. But if Scoot. you're giving me a fucking Wiggle. tutorial, Scoot. that happened to my buddy. He was dating this girl and <laughs> she came over to make out and she's like, I'm not like this. I don't really do this. And, you know, next thing you know, she's on top of him trying to eat his fucking face off. <laughs> and he said something like she tried to kiss him or he tried to kiss me. She goes. More tongue. And he's like, oh, and then. Less tongue. And he's like this. He goes, get, get, stop, stop. He goes, I've been making out for a long time. I have never had anybody. And it freaked him the fuck out. <coughs> Made him a little self-conscious. No, it just was stupid. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. If somebody's doing that, you're a, you're going to be so fucking problematic in my life. Fuck you. It's li like, fuck off. Just go home. Go the fuck home. Go. You're what dumb. What if you don't like what they're doing? Stop it. What? Listen, Thomas, you, you, oh, you, I've had those experiences. You ever made like, out with somebody? It, yes. Okay. It, do you ever make out with them again? What do you mean? Okay. Do if somebody's always? A, if somebody's a horrible kisser I and don't. doing some weird shit, you're done. I don't. Okay. Then it doesn't matter. <laughs> Guess what? If you get a car I test a drive it, one day, <laughs> you don't have to buy it. Okay. He stuck his tongue in and was like, Wah! and I was like, what are you doing in my mouth? You're like, who has not told you? I did try. You're a human milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who, how many girls it? have you, he was in his, I, I was probably 20, he was 20. How many girls have you kissed and no one has told you? Not enough. No one likes this, please stop it. Do you know what's fucked up? Some girl might have told him that's what she likes. Oh my God. Right? Poor thing, poor thing. I just, I tr tried a couple different times. Right. Like my, my tongue is going to outpower your tongue. <laughs> We're about to tongue war, Jeez. tongue wrestle. Oh my God. I'll make it real awkward. Jesus. <laughs> That stop, gets weird, right? right? Stop, stop. Start slow. Be Work slow. Work up to it. I would say, like you were saying, if you're uncomfortable, like, speak up. If, that if was, something yeah. has happened in this moment that you don't like or makes or you're in pain or it doesn't feel good, it happens. Or somebody's being a little too aggressive. Yeah. Or not aggressive you're, enough, right, I guess. You're uncomfortable. Yeah. And if you know, if you do know what works for you... There is nothing wrong with d doing it yourself, guiding them, yeah. speaking up a little. You don't have to be like, my ex-boyfriend yeah. used Hold to on, do I got this one film. thing. Check right. this out. Watch. My ex, my late husband used to. <laughs> I killed him. I don't know why I'm. I did this so much, he died. From Tennessee when I'm having sex, but. <laughs> it's your sex lady. <laughs> it's my sex. I listen to Garth Brooks. That's my sex music. <laughs> Open the closet. <laughs> Get out the <laughs> Here's the other thing. I've heard this a lot, too. People with their first time and all of a sudden somebody pulls out, pulls out toys without a conversation. New toys or old toys? 
Um, and the conversations that have come up, they were old toys. Like girl has the old yeah, toys. The girl okay. has the girl like, has the girl has her toys. Can you imagine this guy's like I got test. these toys. They're like are, those aren't in the no, package. No, these are mine. <laughs> right. The you? girl had her toys in her nightstand. Hey, these and are new. She brought okay. them to the party, and he was like, "I'm down," but a heads up would have been our first time. Our first time. He's like, I would like a shot at it to see if I could do it on my own. If I can't, and oh, the round two. Oh, that's how he was looking at yeah, it? Yeah. I wasn't picking was, up what you were saying. Yeah. I was just like doing the math in my no, head. No, she, like, she pulled out a vibrator. And he was like. She's like, I need this to happen, yeah, though. <laughs> this is the only way I'm getting off is if I use my vibrator. Yeah. If we use my vibrator. And he was like, I don't mind. Have had that experience in my past. Didn't expect it on the first time. Yeah. I thought maybe you would give me some grace. Let me give it my best shot before you just I pull out that. the vibrator. How'd that go? Did it? She got off and he got off and it was fine. Hmm. And they don't use it. They're actually, they were together for a while. They didn't use it every time. I think it was more about her nerves that she was like, there is no way in hell He's that like I am getting off. Her. Yeah. I am nervous and this is about to be a mess. And he was like, I rose to Do the you think occasion. guys care? About what? If a girl gets off. I'm sure that's, um, that's tentative to that. Person. Yeah, I would. Most guys that I know are very self conscious about if it's a thing or not. It's like if they can, they want to. Yeah. Unless they've had some woman that is like, I've never gotten off. Don't worry about it. Is that a real thing? I, I've heard tale. Hmm. Those are the ones that I'm like, wherever she got her vibrator, send her the link because <laughs> she needs to get off. Well, not just that. Like, I think if a girl isn't comfortable with her own body, that she even understands what it means to get off on her own or anything like that. I think yeah. she would really struggle with someone else. Listen. And here's I've... the other thing. Let's just get real for a second. I'm sure you could attest to women's conversations probably more than me because you've had more conversations with women about them having sex than me. I don't think a lot of guys give a girl enough time to even remotely get to that point. Is that fair? You have to warm up the engine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, it's, you it's, have to. It is for a lot of women. For some women, they know the things. It is if you do, if we, yeah. if we can accomplish these three things, like I'll be fine. Right? Like do these three <laughs> things. <laughs> Other women can get there, but it's a lot about like their mental status. Yeah. They need like their can their kids can't be anywhere. Anywhere the dogs have to be in the crate. Everything has to be. They need to be able to like fully relax, get out of their own head. Yeah. And I, I do think it's, I think it can be hard for some women to get there. Well, it's got to be hard some just men, to do it, Kelly. Hmm. It's got to be hard just to do it. You know, somebody's got to be hard, at least. That's true. So, depending on the amount of time, if a guy, what, I mean, what if you're dealing with a guy that's like two pump guy, you know, he's like. It happens. Yeah. I, have, I feel sorry I had, for those I people. had a couple that were like, we can't because he doesn't last long enough. What? Like they, they couldn't, they were trying to work on their intimacy and their connection, but that was such a, a small piece of it. Stop it. Stop it. I like she did this. It was such a small <laughs> I went like this and I was like, that's not helpful. You did it. I know. But as soon as I did, did it, it, I was like, it's not about the size, ladies and gents. It's about the duration <laughs> of the penetration. That was a very small portion of the agenda. Yeah. I talk with my hands too much. So if you have a small portion, two, three, four, two hundred, <laughs> five, nine, four. Do not. Nine. I don't want to see them. You're about to get us dick pics. Yeah, send Kelly. Um, she's gonna raid them. I'm just kidding. She will fucking murder you. So don't even think about it. Um, we will publicly shame you if you send dick pics. Just let you know, I will send them to your mother. I your saw a TikTok a couple months ago, and I was like, this is how I would do this if I went back out there somehow in a dating world where I was yeah. getting dick pics, I would start a file folder and just exchange them. If you send me one, I'm sending one back. Oh yeah, I would. I don't know who's <laughs> like trading cards. Yeah. Like trading cards. Well, Thanks. Like, like Here's my pals. Dick pals. Thanks penis for the pals. picture. I'll add it to my collection. Here's one. Oh, new penis Pokemon. pal. Cool. I'll call them <laughs> penis Ta -da. pals. <clears throat> oh Lord. All right. <clears throat> Remember, this is number seven. Remember, it's not that serious. 
No, it's, it's not. okay. It's part, if you've already made it to this point, you've already got to that point. There's penetration. Yeah. It is. It does not have to be that serious. You can laugh. If this is not going the way that either one of you expected, yeah, it's okay. Down. It is okay. Because a lot it's, of people are really nervous. Yes. It's more about the experience than the orgasm At was first. the other thing. Yes. But everybody, everybody puts the, the O face on a pedestal. We didn't do it right unless we like achieve this. Really? Yes. Mm. Lots of men and lots of women struggle if their nerves are involved at all. How could you? Uh, dude, I... If you're not in the right headspace, you're not in the right, right headspace. I don't give a fuck what you're That's doing. That's another reason why you should keep alcohol out of it or drugs out of it. That affects your ability to orgasm. Yeah. People. I put, you'll have time to learn and alter things after this time if it's enjoyable for both Fine parties. She's not into that. He's not into that. No. Try that. Whatever. At least if if the experience was enjoyable. Yeah, if you still like you'll each other have when you're an, You'll have plenty more shots to shoot. How many people just want to run? afterwards it happens often because yeah. there's so much like intensity behind it or not or we isn't got that weird how it dead, only dead fits deer in a brother and spot, sisters and there's like this area and this area and it literally the healthy like comfortable where you really enjoy it right. only lives mm -hmm. like right here and everything mm -hmm. else is like this is horrible yeah and this is too much you know well, and people talk that's why it's important to talk to each other because they're going to talk to everybody else. Yeah. So like if you're a, a lights off person and the other one is like all the lights on in the house person. Surgical light right. coming Surgical down like headlamp. Jesus. <laughs> Just... Look like you're on mash. Right. What the fuck? Lights matter. Clothes Everything matter. matters. Are you Some cold? people are into lingerie. Like, Some are... people are just like, I just want to see Is your body naked. temperature cold? Yes. You know? Right. Are you trying to have sex with people in the house? Like watching? No. Like if you have a roommate. Like I have a couple college students yeah. on my caseload and they're like nervous, but they're like, well, I had to invite them over this weekend because my roommate's going out of town. And then after that, they're like, when's it awkward? And I'm like, whenever they're awkward, if they're uncomfortable, that's what matters. It, if that, you don't give a shit that your roommate's down the hall. I'm not going to lie. It fucks with me a little bit when someone's in the house. It does. I, you know what I mean? It usually mm -hmm. ends up being some kind of like abduction kind of sex. You know what I mean? Where it's like <laughs> real quiet and real right. weird, you know? It's real scary. Well, You're I mean, it does because I just makes me, and I, I know it all comes from my like Southern Pentecostal upbringing. Right. You know what I mean? Like it all comes from that weird shit, mm -hmm. but it, it does make it's, me uncomfortable. Well, there's, there's shame. Well, there's, I, they call it a private life for a fucking reason. It's private. And when if other people know you're doing it, there's it's not really private, is worse. it? No, and there's nothing worse than a squeaky bed. Because you can be quiet and you can be quiet, but that bed does not give two Listen bucks. to me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's a company called Our House that makes right iron beds. They're the most indestructible. They don't squeak. Well, fuck no. Send me the link. My bed squeaks and it drives me nuts. No, there's no squeaking. But they're dude, they weigh it's 400 fucking pounds. That's fine. They don't know care. they're serious. It also I wanted won't to move around. I wanted a good bed just because I wanted a good bed. You know what I mean? I grew up, you know, my stepdad had a moving company I worked for, and I touched a lot of beds, so I wanted a bed that... <laughs> well, I'm saying I moved a lot of furniture. It's just a weird thing to say. I know. Well, it's true, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, you know me. I'm very intense about any kind of purchase I make. I'm very yeah. thought out about it, and even a bed. Like, it was really important to me to have a bed that I thought I could keep for a very long time that was mm -hmm. very well made. Because mm -hmm. a lot of beds are made like shit. That's true. And that's where you sleep. We that's got a new mattress recharge. last weekend. You, I saw that. How'd that go? It's glorious. Yeah, still it's squeaks, glorious. huh? Well, it's a. We bought a new mattress and a new frame. So it doesn't squeak. No, what squeaks is the headboard. Yeah, just put something behind it. Oh, Andrew's like, like I'm gonna human. bolt that bitch to the wall and Don't, like dude, stop. No, 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 no. Digging no. holes and thing. I know. No, 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 no. Because then you attach it to a, another part of the house that is stationary that's going to make more noise. Correct. I mean. I work in a recording studio, so I understand when you sound do. transfers. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a sexual sound transfer. <laughs> How loud do you think it's in a closet? Mike was asking. It's soundproof. Mm, oh, yeah. It's soundproof. All right, last one. Last one on this saint. Getting lucky. Yeah. Da, 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 da. All right. Aftercare. Oh, shit. <laughs> Have, I know. This is where all, nice all the things fall Have apart. an ice pack ready. 
everybody's plan falls apart at the end. You should pre-plan. Are you staying over? Am I staying over? Let's go one other step. Hmm. Before you get to that, you probably should discuss where he should finish making his deposit. You were going to ask how you're going to clean up. (laughs) You know, I mean, but like, honestly, that's a real question. Where's it going? Where? Where is it going? Regardless. Where is he finishing? That's a real important question. Where that, are you listen, in the moment, you don't have a lot of time oh to have God. that talk. You listen, know? that is something that women talk about often. That, that he came on my blank with no conversation. What do you want him to do with it? I, I, we want you to We want you to ask. How about you? Mm-mm, no, it just needs to get All out. over me. Listen. All over my floor. Jesus, really? <laughs> yes. What the fuck's wrong All over my people? bed. It's better than inside, it you, I guess. It hit me in the face. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Who are you hanging out? Mike's like, can I get these bitches' numbers? <laughs> this was more in like high school and college when we, we were all experiencing new things and yeah. guys had no fucks. No. No fucks Wild. to give. Wild, Wild, Wild and out. West. Cause I'm, I am convinced in my head back in college, they were like, I blew it on her back, bro. No. She was so pissed. <laughs> and they're like high-fiving in their kitchen. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had anybody mad. Maybe they're mad. Maybe they're talking shit right now. Maybe they're all watching this and they're like, on the floor? I know him. That's fucking pretty funny. The they just pulled out and like, what? What? Can I have a towel? Yeah. Clean it up. Swap the deck. <laughs> So yeah. you should probably talk Where about that. Where you finish right? is important. Yes. What you're cleaning up with, I guess we could get real detailed. If you go in my bathroom and grab one of my hand towels. <laughs> you wouldn't, man. If it was a good time, you wouldn't care. Be like, I'll wash that shit. I don't if care. If it was a bad time. Mad. And you just walk in with it hanging on. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> Grandma's doily. Yeah, right. It's like, it's handed down 13 yes. generations. It's, it was part of the Oregon Trail. <laughs> He's using that ancient Get doyle. that off of him. Get it him. Your great grandmother's rolling over in her fucking grave. She fought off fucking buy, Native Americans and fucking thieves. I buy Viva paper towels for. They are just like fabric. Go get a paper towel. Stop you it. animal. Well, also, you didn't have that in your kit. You didn't have no baby wipes. There should be baby wipes in the kit. Jesus. But yeah, Not talk, for- share, reinforce. Yeah. I mean, don't roll over and go home without any sort of anything like fist bump. No, you know what I no. like? I like the good pat on the ass. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Beat it. Why are you still here? High five. <laughs> Why are you still here? Right. Ugh, I have to work tomorrow. Oh my God. It's getting late. It is late. So late. Could you imagine? So you want to call me on your way to work tomorrow? Yeah. I'll talk to you then. I'll warm up your car. I have to work a little bit. <laughs> they could be so passive aggressive and be like, I have to work really early, so I'll probably call you at like Never. 7. <laughs> As in, like, you won't be here. You'll be at your house, so I'll call you at like 7. I know this. If you're being intimate with somebody, you should feel comfortable enough with them staying at your house. If they can stay inside your vagina or be on, <laughs> you can be in their vagina, you should feel comfortable enough with them to stay in your house. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am tired of this bullshit. Like, well, it's not really serious. I'm like, well, if your husband was doing that with somebody, it'd be really fucking serious. So stop belittling it. Is that fair? That is so fair. Stop living in this fake bullshit world where you're co-signing your own shit. If you're not comfortable with somebody spending the night with you, they should not be inside you or you should not be inside them. Like, let's just stop bullshitting. I've heard people that are like, I don't want him to stay here because like. Because what? I, I, when they say that, I in picture in my head. I'm like, what? Because they're going to steal your shit? Like, who are you what fucking? What are they going to do? Like, literally. They're going to sleep? I don't like to sleep with other people. I like my space when I sleep. And I'm like, well, then well, I don't know why you're dating. Does he know that you have no intent to him forever? Like, ever? His kids come first. My daughter comes and sleeps with me in the middle of the night. Dude, I we hear that a lot. I hear it all the time. I'm like, well, this is going to be awkward for her. <laughs> I sleep naked. Sorry. Yeah. You might want to give her a heads up. Jesus. Anyway. That would be horrible. That's true. That's Gross. it. That's so number eight. If you're getting ready to bang it out, if you want to get through lucky. That list. We'll plan I will uh post this list. Um be kind to each other about it. It's hard. It's very not everybody is just 
wanting to go bang it out. There's a lot of people that want to have a meaningful time with somebody. Even if it's not a long-term relationship, they still want it to be enjoyable for both people. And it's like anything. I used to joke with a guy. We went riding motorcycles, and he rode so fast, and he's like, I just let him go because, like, I'm not, you know, I'd ride fast sometimes. But, and I got there. He's like, oh, man, what took you so long? I go, for somebody who likes riding bikes, you sure want to get off of it really quick. So it's kind of like sex. If you spend all this time working on it, you do all this stuff just to hurry up and get done with it. Like enjoy every fucking inch effects, of them. Right. You know what I mean? And like, and like really enjoy it. And you'd be surprised at how much easier it gets because you're not like, I couldn't imagine having sex for somebody the first time and just having to rush in and rush out. Like that wouldn't make me very comfortable. No. You know what I mean? Like that. No. Appreciate their body. Well, and let them appreciate you. Yes. And, but yeah, both you know? ways. That that is how you build comfortability and confidence and intimacy greater than sex. Yeah, and make a little note for them, gentlemen, and just say, "Hey, where do you want me to make a deposit? Where Where would you like me to make a deposit?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's important. I mean, like you have to have I, that. Kind. You can't matters. be. You can't be it mad matters. because in the moment, not to be a dick, it isn't like he can stop. No. Is that fair? That's fair. Like, you know. All exits open. No wait. So, all right, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, don't forget, if you want to order any of our gnome butt plugs, um, it's 234-205-949. We're going to have them up on our Etsy page. Regular and <clears throat> adventure. Yeah. This one's a little more adventure. And if that one's regular, Jesus. <laughs> You're doing some damage, people. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Be nice to each other. Bye. Bye.